Good day. Welcome to Psychology 311, Study Session 16, Outputs from the Body. Introduction. The outputs of the body include mechanical movements, radiant heat, sound, minute electrical signals, as well as excretions and secretions that serve various biological functions. Some of these may serve as communication signals at a basic biological level, but verbal communication provides the greatest insights into the mind. Objectives At the end of this lecture, you should be able to 1. List and explain five outputs from the body and 2. Illustrate how each of the body outputs differ from others. Pretest. What do you understand by body outputs? 2. Mention any three of the body outputs. 3. Why are they body outputs? Contents. Secretions and excretions. The skin is covered with many specialized glands that secrete sweat, sebum, magma, and hair wax. In addition, these are glands that produce tears, saliva, and milk. Sweat serves primarily to cool the body. However, the sweat of the underarms develops a strong smell when it ferments under bacteria action. Scientists have debated whether sweaty smell is supposed to be an attractant, a repellent, an indication of vigor, or serves other functions. The widespread use of antiperspirants and air conditioning has virtually eliminated this type of stimulus from our society. However, researchers at the University of California at Berkeley conducted an experiment where women sniffed a bottle containing androstadionine, a chemical found in male sweat that smells vaguely musky. Tests showed that the body pressure, heart rate, breathing, and levels of cortisol in the women increased within 15 minutes or sniffing the chemical and remained elevated for more than an hour. The women also repeated elevated mood and sexual arousal. Sebum and magma are oily secretions that lubricate various parts of the body. They also have characteristic smells at close range to the body. The pubic hair has a musky smell that may play a role in sexual stimulation. Erections like urine and feces serve to carry away waste products of the body, but they also carry a lot of information about the body. From a sample of urine, it is possible to determine the function of the kidneys, the presence of venera or parasite diseases, and whether a woman is pregnant. Feces can be used to identify dietary components, parasitic infections, the presence of ulcers, and many digestive functions. Menstrual fluids and semen are excretions of the body that are part of the reproductive cycle but which can transmit disease-causing organisms from infected individuals. Gaseous output, exhaling, sneezing, coughing, burping, and intestinal gases are all outputs of the body that give information about the body. A sigh is a form of exhaling that may indicate weariness or relief. Sneezing and coughing are used to dislodge obstructions in the respiratory passages or as a reaction to irritants. The hair expelled during coughing and sneezing may carry bacteria and viruses in droplets of mucus and saliva. Burping and intestinal gases are products of fermentation and digestion that may have offensive smells. The smell of the breath may indicate diet. 
food residues, the presence of caries, and smoking habits. The smell of a woman's breath changes during menstruation. Many diseases can be identified by the odors emanating from the body. In the days when house calls were common, doctors were advised to blow their nose to increase their olfactory sensitivity before going into the room with a sick patient. Bacteria colonies of Pseudomonas have a grape-like smell, whereas colonies of Proteus have a burned horn smell. Heat. The body generally maintains a temperature of 37 degrees Celsius, 98.6 degrees Fahrenheit. The testicles require lower temperatures for sperm production. Fever is a pathological condition where an abnormally high body temperature is sustained. Temperatures higher than 42.5 degrees centigrade, 108 degrees F, kill human cells. Electrical activities. Take two. Electrical activity. The electrical signals in the brain are in the order of 100 microvolts, which is about 15,000 times smaller than an ordinary flashlight battery. These signals have wave frequencies of between 1 and 20 hertz or cycles per second. The electrical signals in the hertz are around 1 millivolt, 10 times stronger than those of the brain, but still very small and impossible to detect outside the human body except through great amplification. By contrast, electric heels have special nerve endings that enable them to generate from 200 to 600 volts, enough to electrocute a person. The neurons of the human brain have been estimated to generate about 20 watts of power. Body language. The position of the body can indicate aggression, fear, or a whole spectrum of human attitudes. Crossed arms tend to indicate a reserved attitude or closed mindedness. A slouch indicates disdain of carelessness. Sweaty palms indicate nervousness. A weak handshake means lack of confidence and a pale face or trembling is synonymous with fear. Facial expressions are produced by movement of the eyes, eyebrows, nose, and mouth. Narrow eyes means anger and widening eyes indicate surprise. A frown denotes concern and pupils expand when something is of interest. A mouth with downturned corners is sad. One with upturned corners is a happy smile. Happiness, sadness, fear, hunger, surprise, and a disgust are facial emotions that are widely recognized around the world regardless of culture. These facial expressions are made with five facial muscles. The attire and hairstyles that we wear also send messages which can be part of the body language. Purple dyed hair and body pressing indicate non-conformity. Pin strip suits form just the opposite. Expensive jewelry, cosmetics, and perfume send a message of affluence. Beards, wigs, clothing, and cosmetics are all used to decorate our bodies to send conscious or subconscious messages to onlookers. Sounds. Coughing, sneezing, breathing, and Adbits are sounds output by the body. 
There are also mechanical noises such as clapping and whistling. But by far, the most important sounds are produced through singing and verbal communication. Verbal output. As was mentioned in the previous chapter, verbal communication is more than just sounds. Words convey mental images to our listeners. What we say or what we imply changes the listener. The way in which we say something also carries a message. The use of a rich vocabulary may imply wisdom or snobbishness. Forcefulness indicates conviction and hesitation represents insecurity. Songs and rhymes are special forms of ritualized communication. Before writing was invented, oral history was the only way to pass information from one generation to the next. Poems and songs were particularly effective at passing information because they could be learned at early stage even though they might not be understood until much later. Memes Memes are ideas or behaviors that can be passed from one person to another by learning or imitation. A culture may be defined as a collection of memes which enabled individuals to function within the society. Examples of memes include beliefs, gestures, practices, fashions, habits, songs, and dances. Successful memes propagate themselves and are adopted by the members of a society because they provide a benefit or enable survival. Simple traditions like washing the hands before eating or the oriental custom of taking off the shoes before going inside a house promote cleanliness and reduce the rate of infections. People who do not follow these practices will get sick more often or perhaps die from poor sanitation. Thus, the cleanliness men provides tangible benefits. Summary In this lecture, we have examined the output of the body. We noted the major output of the body and the physiology of what made it different from the other. This is the end of study session 16 and the end of the course Psychology 311. Thanks for listening.